We've got some exciting updates to our word search tool. You've asked for more answers per page, and now you can have six or nine in addition to our previous options of one, two, or four. We've also added the option to not include a word list with your puzzle. And finally, we've given you the ability to download the puzzle you see in the preview. Let's head over to Book Creator and I'll show you how to use these new features. I'm in the word search tool, which you can get to by going to Activity Books, Word and Number Search Puzzle Tool. I'm going to use an 8.5 by 11 trim size for these examples. And we're doing a do word search. And we're going to start with one answer per page. I've already set up an example puzzle to demonstrate this ability for you. And we're going to demonstrate how to create a puzzle with no word list. So I've already copied the list here. It's the list of all 50 states. I'm going to click do not include word list. So we've got one puzzle. We're going to start at number one, 50 words per puzzle, 25 letters across and 25 down. So now we're going to click this button, refresh preview, and we don't have the word list here. And you can adjust how this looks under title and word settings. So for example, if we want to move the title down, we can say start at 0.4. If we want to have more space between the title and the puzzle, you change that here, Stay space between title and puzzle. And then we can do another refresh. And if we like how that looks, let's go check out the answer. And now you can either do a download and get the one puzzle, or if you like exactly how this looks for this puzzle and the answer page, you can hit now do download preview. So this download preview button, it's going to give you exactly what you see in this puzzle preview and the answer preview. So it's going to be exactly the same. Whereas if you hit the download PDF, it's going to generate the puzzle again and it's not going to look exactly the same as what you saw in the preview, other than the formatting. The formatting will stay the same. So as you can see here, we have the formatting the same, but it's not exactly the same puzzle. So it's going to look a little bit different when you download it. So now you have the option to get exactly the puzzle you see here, which can be useful if you're trying to get a certain look in your puzzles, which is more likely when you're trying when you're including the word list. Let's go ahead and include the word list and do another preview. And let's make this a little closer together. So let's move this down to say three. And let's make our word list here a little bit smaller. One word list, uh, say a font size of 12. And increase the space here between the puzzle and the word list. That's this space between puzzle and word list. And then once I like that, I can either do download preview, which will give me this one puzzle, and there it is, or I can hit the download button and get a different, different puzzle. Now if you're using multiple puzzles, instead of just one, you're only going to get the first puzzle. So let's show you that. Let's go ahead and get some more words. And let's have more puzzles. Let's, let's use nine. And we have 12 words per puzzle. And we're going to reduce this, say, 20 by 20. And since we have 12, let's do four columns instead of five. And we can make this font size bigger. Let's go ahead and make that bigger. And if we want, we can also add a title above the word list that says word list. Now we have the puzzle and the answer. And let's show you how you can change it to more answers. So now we can do six answers per page. And that's going to look like that. Or we can do nine answers per page. 
and that will look like that. Now I want to point out that if you do a download of this preview, you're only going to get the first page, your first puzzle, and then you're going to get the answers here. So you're not going to get the other ones. You're only going to get exactly what you see in the puzzle and the answer. That's all you're going to get on the download. So this is only useful if you want to do one answer per page or if you want to combine the answers later. So if we do a download, now we're going to get all nine puzzles. But it's not going to be exactly the same puzzle that you saw in the preview. But you now will have all of the puzzles. One through nine. And then all of your answer pages. We know you're going to love these new features. If you have any questions or suggestions for upgrades to this tool, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Your journey to crafting journals, planners, logbooks, and more starts here. Get going now with a free three-day trial at abookcreator.com.